started raining here September 8th during the West Morning auction at New Stand Fire Hall from the estate of David Morgan that uh, I posted a video on. It's time for me to get my stuff out of the car. It's Monday at noon. It's still sprinkling, but this is the first time it hasn't stopped pouring. You can hear the fire whistles off in the distance. All the towns around here are flooded, thankfully. I'm up on top of the hill, although my basement's full of water from runoff from all the yard. So, I'm going to retrieve my purchase. This is the way this was displayed at the auction. They set it down in front of me, and instead of wrapping it all up, I, I just carried it out to the car and put it where it would be safe. So i got to turn the camera off, and this will be the first thing I take into the house. Now for the rest of it. Got three boxes here. For the foreseeable future, it's going to be here in the middle of the living room floor. It all needs a good bathing. Uh, David had these displayed up high. And they haven't been dusted in quite a while. This used to be my heaviest piece of milk glass at seven and a half pounds. Now my heaviest piece is the Buzz Star Punch Bowl at 10.2 pounds. The Punch Bowl base is 4.1 pounds. One cup is 0.45 pounds. The ladle is one pound. With 22 cups, base, bowl, and ladle, there's 25 pounds of milk glass there. If you've never seen the Buzz Star Punch Bowl up close, it is magnificent. I think they call that the whirly gig. Some people do, and that is the Buzz Star. I didn't uh, subtract for the dust. I didn't think it weighed too much. We're going to have to get this cleaned up before we put it away. I'm not going to display this. Uh, where would you? And each one of these newspapers here has a piece in it. The only way I can refrain from buying milk and Westmoreland glass is to not go to the auctions. If I go to an auction, this is what happens. It explodes. Let's unwrap. We have a lacy bowl. He has a friend. We have a, a uh, I forget the name of this blue Argonaut shell lid. We have a lion. Oh, okay. There's his friend. A Westmoreland lion on a lacy base. What we have here? A rarely seen blue Argonaut shell bottom. I'll just set that there for now. Ooh, I like that combination. What we have here? A pink Argonaut shell bottom. Are you starting to see a theme? What do we have here? Ah, there's the blue Argonaut shell bottom. We can do that. We can make that pair. There is a antique blue Argonaut shell bottom. Those aren't very rare. Uh-oh. We have a decorated mother of pearl. 
Argonaut shell bottom. We have a chicken with a white head. Chickens go over here. And we have another lacy base. I wonder who that belongs to. Maybe chicken with a white head. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the auction pictures to make sure that's where that goes. Yeah, it probably goes there. What do we have here? Another lacy base. Okay. That one's pretty dusty, so if I find a piece that's dusty, I'll know that that's a pair. Uh-oh. A pink basket. Sort of an off... off. I wouldn't necessarily call that almond. Uh... It's a unusual color. Put that over here. That's going to end up with something on it. It's a chicken. And he goes on her. She goes on her. First piece I have of that color. There's that odd color blue Argonaut shell top. Nice. There's the Argonaut shell top to the pink one. Just like Christmas morning. Oh, there's the top to the decorated mother of pearl Argonaut shell. Got the sticker right there. Dolphin shell candy, aka Argonaut. And there's a lid to the antique blue one. We have four. Argonaut shells in very nice colors. Buy three, no, one, two, three, four, five. Buy four, get one free. Uh oh. We changed uh, designs. We have lovebirds. We're going to go over here and start a lovebird pile. And we got lucky. He goes right on there. Him and her. I think that's the same color. Yeah, same color. Oh, pink lovebirds. Or a rose, rose. Not exactly a pink. Yeah. Black lovebirds. There's a base for the pink. color. Antique blue. And there's the lid. There's the base to the black one. Yeah, one more piece. Now what do you think it is? Anybody have a guess? 
we have an empty base. I know what it is because I remember. It's the rooster. Now, he doesn't have sufficient dirt on him to belong on that exact base, but I think they're pretty much interchangeable. I'll try and find out which one he came with originally based on the crud level. There you have it. I'm done unwrapping these uh, English hobnail plates. I have no clue what I'm going to do with them. Yeah, you can just set other pieces in them to display. Like, uh, there was a lady who displayed some candlesticks and she put a chimney down around them. If they were sitting on one of these plates, that would really look great. So we have four lovebirds. Uh, a color that I'm not aware of the name of. A chicken with a white head and a rooster. Five Argonaut dolphin shell candies lined with glass eyes and that huge punch bowl set. Uh, I have window sills for the uh, lovebirds. Everything else will go somewhere. <laughs> Just wanted to show you the design of the hobnail plates. That's what they look like on the front. That's what they look like on the back. If you come to a Gene Gornick auction in New Stanton, Pennsylvania, bring your checkbook, lots of boxes, and wrapping materials. I saw a lot of the professional buyers using uh, those blue pads that they use in uh, the hospital and old folks' homes and stuff. And they stack up real nice and um, they reuse them over and over again for their uh, and they have plastic totes with handles they know how to buy glass a lot of them are in the business of buying and selling glass have shops ebay accounts and things like that so they're always on the lookout for something they can turn a buck on or enjoy this is pittsburgh pap taking a picture of some more of his glass not like it's not everywhere already. And I mean everywhere. Everywhere.